Hello everyone, today we are exploring start to delta conversion, an important topic in electrical engineering. We will examine the star configuration with three registers and delta configurations with its own set of registers. Let's get started. Understanding the star configuration, let's look at the star look at the star connection referred as a figure A. In this setup, we have three registers r1 r2 r3 and the terminals are 1 2 3 and the terminal which is common to all of the three branches is n this arrangement allow us to analyze the circuits effectively now understanding the delta con configurations we move to the delta configuration as shown in the figure b here the registers between the terminal 1 and 2 are named as r12 between the terminal 2 and 3 is named as r23 and between terminal 1 and 3 is named as 31 you can name it the way you want this layout is commonly used in various industrial or electrical applications once we have get, get the general idea about the star delta connections as these connections are used to arrange the circuits in a suitable form this is not the circuit reduction process but it's the way that helps to assign the single uh, assign or assemble the C resistors in simpler form okay now let's work to uh, let's see how we can transfer a star circuit into a delta and delta configuration into the star okay normally a star circuit can be converted into a delta and delta circuit can be converted into a star so to convert this star into the delta all you need to do, do is you need to draw the circuit on these arms if we will use deadlines to draw this So, since the circuit, since the resistor between 1 and 2 is named as R12, R23, R31. Look, we have converted a star circuit into a delta just by drawing the outer the circuit on the outer line, on the outer area of the star. Similarly, if you have to convert the star circuit, if you want to convert, similarly to what you need to do is, you need to draw the resistors like this. Add one resistor. Okay, that's how we can c convert a delta connection into a star connection and name it as R1, R2, R3. Now our remaining task is to identify the value of R1, R2, R3 in delta to star connection and the value of R12, R23, R31 in star to delta connection. So in order to find these values, you are already provided with certain formulas. Today we are just focusing on converting on deriving the formulas so once you will derive you will be able to derive the formula it will be easier for you to transform any star circuit in delta or any delta into a star 